Thank you, Todd. More schools open their doors for students to welcome them back to school for the first day of classes this morning. News 4's Nalina Shapiro shows us how things went on Grand Island today. Nalina? Well, our wake-up team was live this morning at the Veronica E. Connor Middle School showing you the first buses and all the kids arriving for the first day. Education leaders tell us for students to really soak in all of the information they're being taught, they have to feel like they matter. And it's important for the schools to create an environment where kids feel like they belong. Safety is also a number one priority. Principals in Grand Island want to remind people to stop for buses and watch out for excited students running in between cars on their way off the buses when school's out. One sixth grade student, Abby, we spoke to in Grand Island, says she was in a private school last year, but this year she's going to a public school and has her dad as one of her teachers. So how are you feeling today? A little nervous, but pretty excited. What are you the most excited about? Probably having my dad as my art teacher. <laughs> the kids adjust very quickly, uh, probably a lot sooner than the adults do. We have five new ADA ex handicap accessible bathrooms. Our auditorium has been renovated. Our front office has been renovated. We have two new classrooms and a new wing that has been added. And there's also new flooring, a new music room. This is all at the Grand Island William Kegabine Elementary School. They're also about to put in a new playground on the weekend of September 17th. So from all of us here at Channel 4, good luck students and good luck teachers. Don, back to you.